Hi, Martin here. Today what I want to show you is I got this Teslong NTS 500 triple camera endoscope. Oh my gosh, this thing is cool. I don't even know how I lived this long without one of these. Uh, I do have a Milwaukee one that I've had, but it is nothing, nothing compared to this one. Uh, with that triple camera and this large 5 inch screen that it has right there, this thing is really cool. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of uh, video. That, uh, this is another thing that this can do. It can capture video, capture snapshots. So you can sit there and show your customers or whomever what's inside that engine or inside the wall. You, you know, take a snapshot of whatever the problem may be that you find and show someone else. Uh, it has comes with an SD card already and it has a rechargeable battery, 16 foot, four inch long whip on here. And then you got the camera right there, which is very small diameter. This would be great for a bore scope. And uh, plus with the triple camera on here, I mean, you can get nice side view shots, and what you're about to see, what I got here is the 4.7 liter Dodge Chrysler Jeep engine here on the stand. We're going to take the scope down inside some of the spark plug holes, and you're going to be able to see some stuff that you wouldn't see with a typical bore scope. Now, I'm also going to show you a couple features this thing has that it comes with attachments that are going to come in really handy and you're going to see why you got to have one of these. All right, let's get started. Uh, first of all, it comes with a really nice carrying case. It does come with the, the user's manual right here. Uh, it defaults to English language and in the user's manual you got English, German and Chinese, then a product catalog. Now, like, and then it has the uh, charging cord, which is a, uh, I believe that's the mini USB to a USB uh, charger. And then here are the two attachments that I'll show you in a little while here. There's a magnet uh, attachment and a hook attachment that you screw onto the end of the camera. Now the first thing you're going to notice, as soon as you pick this up, it's got a little weight to it. It really feels robust, like it's not, it's nothing, it doesn't feel cheap at all. And then like I was saying, you got 16 foot 4 inches of a whip here, which is very impressive. My Milwaukee has got maybe 3 feet at most. Okay, and to power this on, you got the power button right there. Hold it down, and there you go. And I wanted to also show you the uh, USB port for charging is right there. And then your SD card is right there. And it comes with the SD card. It also has a light on it right there. And this button at the very top controls that. And there you can see the camera is on. It's shooting the, uh, the box here. Now to switch cameras. Right here on the very top, there's a little button right there. Just press that, and you change the view. Press it again, and then that's the other camera. And there you see it, it'll light up as well with the LED. And then this button at the very top here, that controls the amount of power on the LED. There are three settings for brightness, the fourth one being off. Now, right now, you can see right here, that the camera function is lit up. To change that to video, you push the M button, and there we go to video. Then to start your video shooting, you just hit this button right up here. Down here in the lower part of the screen, you'll see that it's starting to count down, or count up, I should say. It does have a date stamp right here in this corner. There it's showing we have a microphone. It's got the SD card in it and your battery condition. 
I did charge it when I first got it, but it did have a pretty good charge in it when I did receive it. And I've been playing with this thing for well over an hour I've had it on, and it has barely even uh, come down a little bit on the battery. They say uh, two to four hours life on the battery. It's rechargeable, of course, like I was saying. Turn off the camera, just hit the button again. Menu button right here, a little button there. There you can go to resolution, your recording, and you use your up and down keys to get to that, and then hit OK. And then if you wanted the mic on or off, you can just select that way. Hit the uh, menu button again to back out, or you can also, here you can change your languages, dates, you can set your time and date right here, formatting your uh, SD card, default settings, and then what version it is. And all of that you can choose by just going down here and then hitting the OK button when you get on what you want, like the time and date. And there I've got it already set. All right, I'm excited to use this. Let me show you what it can do. Okay, with the engine sitting here, I got some spark plugs removed. Let's check out what we can see inside the uh, bore of the cylinder. Oh, right there. As soon as I go in, I can see the uh, exhaust valve here. Now that's the intake and the exhaust sitting right here. Now this is one thing you never see with a regular bore scope or an endoscope. Uh, because of the triple camera, I can actually see the uh, valve right there. That is the exhaust valve in that picture. That is the exhaust valve in that picture. You can clearly see the valve guide right here. You can clearly see the valve guide right here. And there's the uh, cylinder itself. I get a pretty good shot of the cross hatching. There, if I go back a little bit there, right there, I can see it's got a good cross hatch in it. There, if I go back a little bit there, right there, I can see it's got a good cross hatch in it. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, Move the uh, camera around a little bit and see if we can't catch the intake valve. And then with the triple camera, you can jostle that around and maybe catch what you're looking for. There's the intake valve right there. But if this had a drop valve seat, you'd be definitely able to see that. Another thing I really like about this, it comes with a couple cool small attachments. One being this little magnet attachment right here. So you could retrieve something that was lost. Perhaps you lost a socket inside of an engine that you're working on or a piece of hardware, a nut or a bolt fell down inside the engine. Well, what you do is you take this little cap that's right on the very end. It's kind of more of like a lens protector here. Screw that off. And then this one here with the magnet, you can screw that on, just like that. I'm pretty sure this is a rare earth magnet because it actually does have some power. I mean, that's holding a deep socket on there right now. So if that fell down inside your engine or into a place you couldn't get to and couldn't see it, you're going to be able to see it with this. Now with that magnet attachment on there, on a lot of these engines, like where they got a plastic intake manifold, there are cavities underneath the, between the engine and the uh, intake manifold. And if you're servicing this engine, let's say you're changing out one of the coils or something like that, and it's got a specialty nut, you pull that off of there, that nut falls down in that cavity, and now, I mean, you can't find it. Well, this thing can find it for you and retrieve it. So. You're able to take that bore scope down in here into the cylinder head. Okay, now there's the image you can see. Now there's the magnetic tip right there that you're seeing. And we're going to go down and find that nut that's down in there. There it is.
Got it. See that? I got it. Right there is a bolt. You can grab on that. There we go. All right, I got that bolt. Now that's a type of bolt that you're not gonna find at a hardware store with that uh, special grommet on there and everything. So if you lose one of those down inside your engine, this comes in really handy. Okay, I just spun the uh, little hook attachment on here. This would be great for like fishing uh, a string through a wall. Let's say you wanna pull some cable in there and you wanna get from one end to the other. Or maybe, uh, grabbing a hold of a wire that was lost inside of a conduit. Um, if you're an electrician, a plumber, a carpenter, a mechanic, I'm telling you, you cannot live without this tool. I'm loving it. As you can see, this Tesla NTS 500 could come in very handy for a lot of stuff, uh, especially like for the engine work, exploring inside the engine, and electrical, carpentry, uh, plumbing. You're going to be able to see stuff that you cannot see otherwise you're going to be able to probe inside the walls and get that wire from point a to b um, i can see where i'm going to be using this for a lot of stuff and if you're in any of those trades or just a homeowner that does his own stuff this is going to come in very handy uh, highly recommend it i'm very impressed with this product and I'm going to provide a link down in the description below, an Amazon link, where you can do all your Amazon shopping through that link as well. And the channel earns a small commission. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, found it helpful, informative, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out a lot. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notified the next time I upload a video. I want to thank you all for watching, and we will see you on the next one.